Hi everybody, Marty15 here again, up for a new movie review. And this time it's on the Back to the Future 25th Anniversary Part 2. Part 2. And, okay, I'll explain the plot to you. It's been a few months after the first film, and, no, four years after the first film. And, um, they go back to the year 2015. And Marty and Doc and Jennifer, of course, which she's not supposed to be in the DeLorean, but Doc brought her along just just so she doesn't say, oh, I saw a flying DeLorean. And, um, and I'm watching it right now as I speak. And, um, yeah, I have the headphones in so you guys can't hear the music, the singing in the background. But, um, yeah. I just put the self titles on so I can follow along with it. And Marty just opened the garage like he did in the first one. And banged his hand on the garage. On the garage. And here comes Jennifer. Hey, you just said a sore eyes. Let me look at you. Maybe I've seen me in a week. I haven't. Are you okay? Is everything alright? Same thing from the first film. Yeah. Everything's great. And here comes the DeLorean pulling up to the garage. The driveway. Marty! You gotta come back with me. Where? Back to the future. What are you doing, Doc? I need fuel. Good, quick. Get in the car. No, 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 Doc. I just got here. Well, bring it along. This occurs her, too. Wait a minute, Doc. What are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? Are we become assholes or something? No, 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 no. You two are fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something's got to be done by your kids. Everything is from the first film, but re-added. We have to about it back up. We're at the road of the eighty-eight roads. We're the only we don't need roads. But when Beth comes out of the house, that wasn't in the first film. They just took right off and hit the screen. A flying DeLorean. And that's all from the first film, but not with Beth in it. And, and now we're heading into the future. 2015. Five years away from now. No, four years now. Four years from now. 2015. And we get the intro of the, first, of the second film. And Michael J. Fox's name. Christopher Lloyd. Leah Thompson. Tom F. Wilson, of course. Jeffrey Trainer and Jeffrey Wiseman. Same. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Trainer's from the first film. And uh, Jeffrey Wiseman from part two and part three, which I'm watching part two right now. And executive producer Steven Spielberg. Mm hmm. And the guy who made the DeLoreans are, is Kevin Pike. As you all know, who is the special effects supervisor of all the movies. I love the intro, too. It's good music. It reminds me of chorus, too. It's different. So, yeah. A couple more minutes. I'll get to the whole main part why they went to the future. What do you mean, a taxi cab? I thought we were flying. I was like, uh, 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 where are we? 
When are we? We're sent to Hill Valley, California. 1.29 p.m. on Wednesday, October 21st, 2015. 2015? You mean we're in the future? Where's your Marty? How do you mean? How can we be in the future? Uh, Jennifer, um, I don't know to tell you this, but, um, you're the time machine. This is the year 2015. Turn towards 2015. This is your kitty. This is your future. Yeah. This is what we're right. Yeah. Uh, what would that be? Wedding? The whole reason why they went to the future is to help Marty's son not to get in jail and his daughter. Go figure, right? And they can't explain how many kids. And we all know it's two kids. And then we get Marty's daughter as the same character as Michael J. Fox. But her name is Marlene McFly. That's weird, huh? Marty Jr., Marlene. And Marty Sr. And Jennifer Parker. Go figure. Can't see themselves in the future, but... Sort of, Jennifer saw herself. And painted. And... Well, I forgot what scene. Got. It's been long since I did part two. It's been good. It's good so far. And I can't believe they made the DeLorean fly. But they didn't really make it fly. Special flex. Wait five more seconds. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Wow. I know I'm not take amazing. Absolutely amazing. To the post office of the future of weather service. Guys, Marty, since you wouldn't recognize me, I'm going to make an old hall. Little bit of hair, hair, and change of blood. Yeah, 40 years, 40 years of my life. I'm going to ask my name, my Stephen Cullen. What do you think? You're great, you're great, Doc. The future. Unbelievable. I gotta check this out, Doc. Is it time, Marty? Let's tell you. Uh, I should drink. Hello, we get big. But I'm the Rock Sox star. That's neat. Right, right. I am virtual, right? Please take off your shirt. You want the jacket? You need the shoes. The mission accomplished. And the thing is, why would you make a prediction about the future and know from so many years to now they they think that's real the thing is mm. Paula Ace is alright I love that line that's my favorite and um um 429 on Wednesday October 21st 2015 is a real date I researched on that I can't believe that shit. And that was my review so far. Okay, talk to you guys soon.